think that noise I keep hearing is coming from upstairs? Is there an... I mean, there are stairs here. Is that a floating skull? Report to the toll master. Pay the toll. The toll? There, there is no toll. Uh, is there a toll master? Okay, so we have stairs that go nowhere, or they used to go somewhere, but they go nowhere now. So we have to find, I guess, a way up, because I hear something upstairs. Is that another skull? Why are there floating skulls? You should leave now. Oh? I should have left when I still could. Okay, so creepy skulls are floating around telling us to leave and to pay the toll master. I don't know about the rest of you, but this place isn't feeling very safe at all. Not that I thought anything in the Shadowlands was actually going to be safe. It's definitely feeling less safe all of a sudden. Is this, are these the stairs? I feel like I need stairs inside. So what if we instead go this way? I think when we first came in, I saw stairs off to the side. Oh, I mean, there's this. And then stairs there so we can see what we can find. Interesting. This place just gets creepier and creepier and I didn't know that I could say it and mean it, but I do. Um, this up here. What is up? Okay, so now we're using trees as ladders or bridges. I don't know. I'm on the roof. How do I? I'm on somebody's roof right now. Uh, and this is kind of, I think, where we need to go anyways. Like, I need to find a way in. But why? What, how, so this area, the Shadowlands now, I'm coming to find out, is just nothing more than a place where you can walk on people's roofs and hope for the best. Okay. Oh, this place is getting creepier and creepier by the minute. This is incredibly cool, but terrifying. All at the same time. Ah, a ladder. I knew I'd find a way down eventually. Excellent. Ah, oh, there's a skull. Just look. What? Look at it. Look at it all. Mine. Mine. What's yours? Something is all theirs. That might be worth a look. Okay. So we made it. Oh! <gasps> Who or what is that? We should go say hi. What do you bring? Hey, 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 bring? Um, well, typically when I, I come visiting, I bring ballads, sonnets, jigs, poetry, uh, sometimes just good old fashioned normal story. Um, I mean, and there was that one time I, I tried my hand at haikus. That didn't work out very well for anybody, but you know, the usual, the list is very long though. I require gold. But gold. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I, a, a gold piece. You say, uh, how about this? You can have it. <gasps> you can do that? No! How much do you want? Exactly. Like, is there an amount that you need, or...? All that you have. Oh, I can't give you that. I don't have... I can't give you that for nothing in return. You may pass the river, but first you must pay. Okay. Um, can I ask you a question? Why do you stay here in this, like, completely rotted building that's falling apart. Why don't you just take all the gold that you have and go be free? Isn't that a better idea? Dice, help me out here. Just do a little persuading. You know you want to persuade. You know! Wait, you really did. Oh my goodness, thank you. The gold is not for me. The gold is for the tall. I collect the tall. I collect the gold. 
Okay, but... I haven't... <laughs> I have a question. There's nobody here who oversees you. There's literally nobody but you and some very awkward skulls floating around. So who's to say that you can't keep the golden run? Like, honestly. Dice? You agree too. See, the dice even agree. Gold. 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 No. I pay it back. Why do you pay it back? <gasps> what just happened? It's like she just died? Does she have anything in her pockets? Um, oh, oh. Well, that, and then there's a key and... What is? An unsigned writ that a uh, counterfeit in progress. Okay. Well, we've got a weapon. Gold. Uh, oh, another of the skulls we didn't get to talk to. So did these doors... Okay, so this... That key that I got did not open that door. What? Dice, you want to open up this door. We got it. Thank you. We, like, we have to know what's behind it. You can't not. You know what I mean? What? What an odd thing that just happened? Like... Okay, once again, locked. But she basically, like, almost imploded by the thought of gold, gold, gold. Because we tried to... Ooh, well, I'll take the gloves. Like, you know what? I, like, that was weird, right? Like, I'm not the only one who thought it was kind of odd. Anything in the desk? I mean, desks are a great place to hide stuff. No. I mean, unless you want it. Quill and ink. If anybody needs a quill and ink, that desk... Oh. Wait. Stop it. There's just... She was just leaking gold? Is this... Hold on. Is this the other side of this? I just... Before I pick this lock. Yep. Nope. Same door. Same place. Well, not same... Oh, wait. There's more gold here. <gasps> I almost left that behind. Oh, how much gold? Where did she get this all? How long has she been collecting tools for? Oh, well, this is mine now. Or ours. I mean... I don't know if you know this, but we now have... A baby owl bear and a puppy to feed so you know okay the key opened up this one whoa wait there was a statue to her that might be worth a look wait what is this um okay do we all right in a minute everybody's gonna have to get off the floorboards because it's definitely rotted okay but anything in here a quill. All right. Well, now if anybody wants two quills and ink. This is the official records for traders and goods. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So there's also this. Okay. Well, there's a shield. That's another dust. More quills. I mean, listen. Oh my gosh. Why is that a stat? They're like a, a no. Oh, no. There has to be something, like, gossiping. What? What is with this place having 0% gossip? Like, I was looking for the goods. Who was this toll collector? All this other stuff, but... <sighs> Hold on. Let me see if I can open up these floorboards. Okay. So where does that go? Down, down there? Where is down there? Do we jump in? What's in the wardrobe? Uh... It's, it's an absolutist outfit. So were the, the, the cult of the absolute just chilling in here? Another quill. Okay, well, great. We can start a long, long collection of quills. And two inkwells at this point. Do we jump down the hole? That seems highly dangerous, but I'm going in. I lied. I'm not jumping in that hole. I don't think it goes anywhere. Like, I just think it goes to the bottom. Wait, what is this? Oh. Okay, can I open this? Do I have the strength? Really? You don't think I... Come on! You ha you let me cut off Nier's head, and you don't think I have the strength to open this? Try it again. I refuse. I refuse to think you don't think I have the strength for this. Thank you very much. I need to decapitate somebody and not open a this for a single... 
really. I did all that for a single gold. I literally yelled at the dice for a single gold. No gossip in this place, though. This is awful. Oh, anything in here? Just another crate. Nope. No, there isn't. I am very disappointed by this place, but also at the same time, very impressed. So we should probably... Wait, did we go in that room? Feels kind of odd. Picking up just bits of gold as I go, but big chests. Oh, I'll take all that. And uh, I think that that's about it. Nothing in the back, right? No. Just, I have a question. It seems like these people kind of sort of left in a bit of a hurry, right? Overall from this area. Who had time to cover? Okay, well now we have equal amounts of ink wells to quills, but who had time to cover that furniture? Oh. That might be worth a look. What might be? Oh, what is that? Carl, I could find. If you find the safe I'm inside, had to shut myself in to avoid the shadows. There's no gold. If you're thinking of killing me for it, uh, Gren Gothe moved it all to her personal coffers, and I'm unarmed anyways. Just let me out when the shadows are gone. I'll find a way to repay you. I've only got three candles, so hurry. Oh, no. The heavy door grinds open. The combination worked. No. Oh, the poor thing. They had a pouch that had... I'll take the supply packs, because we can always use that. The poor, poor thing. The skeletal remains of the hopeful survivor still waiting to be rescued. Their desperate refuge now their everlasting tomb. You can't outrun the shadows like that. <sighs> Just another way that this place is so very sad. Two ink... So now we have more ink wells than quills. This is very imbalanced all of a sudden. Ah, uh, No, you know. Another desk. For a place that... Oh. I don't know where this key goes, but honestly, I'm in the business of collecting keys. Hmm. So she had all the gold. So that must be who this was. That, that person that they had mentioned. Seems like everybody, uh... How did she turn into that, though? How long ago was this? I have so many questions. We go Oh, there's gold down here. We gotta find somebody eventually that can answer them. So I can't go on without knowing the answers to these questions. Okay. Um... I guess we'll see what's down here. This place is terrifying. Like, I am not a fan of shadows in general. Because, like, I like things, like, bright and, 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 and fun and exciting and a good time. And this place is very scary when it wants to be. Is this another door? Can I lockpick it? Dice, you think I can do this, right? Have I learned enough? I mean, Astarian helped me the other day. Oh. Oh, where have I found myself? Or where have we found ourselves? That's curious. Wait, I wonder if this is where the hole led us in the floorboards, maybe? But what is this? It's a button. I have to push it. <gasps> For once, pushing a button didn't kill us. It helped, I think. Oh my gosh, I pushed a button and I didn't get us instantly brutally murdered. Uh, something is talking to us. Um, oh wait, Carlac, another one of those. Okay. I mean, I'll take this stuff. Nobody certainly needs it here. Anything in the de- Wait, what is this? Ah, uh, it's the trade slowing. Merchant scared of Catherick, nervous of war. He will not take my due. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, well, more inkwell and quills. No, so this was Catherick. So, in the time of Catherick being here. He will not take my due. Oh, well, that's kind of terrifying. Where did I find us this time? Somebody's basement? What is that? It glows. 
Should I touch it? Okay. Well, I touched it. It, it just... I put it in my pocket. Don't ask. A skeleton. Anything in there? Wait. There's a journal. Uh, this is a mason named Pid. Uh, he was working on a secret tunnel. Excavation's almost complete. I've devoted every drop of blood, every bead of sweat I have to this project. And for what? Granite Goth's not yet dropped a single coin, but she's got no shortage of threatening stares. I should never have turned from the guild. Even if I begged to return, they'd be in their rights to refuse me. But I'm not above asking once the dust is clear. So another person for the guild! So he was digging a tunnel. And this must have been where he slept. So he was digging a tunnel. For the guild. Oh no, caskets. Why would there be caskets down here unless this was once a part of a cemetery? So is there really nothing here? This is just, it is what it is. All right, back up then. All right. So we're back here now. And what happens if we go this way? I want to take in the entirety of the town before we even remotely think about visiting Moonrise Towers. Because I have a feeling the moment we get to the tower, they're going to be like, he let us murder you kind of thing. So I would rather not be murdered before I have a chance to sightsee. Oh, uh, that. Whoa. So you can see the protection that is a. Wow, that's a crazy. In like a cool way. But still, it's just insane that, that that's a huge bubble. Have we been through there? Isn't that where we just were? I don't know. Have we? This is just doors. Oh, it's just doors to a different See part. that symbol on the ground? This was a mason's guild. So this was the... Corpses on display. Yeah. Perhaps someone didn't appreciate the mason's stonework. Or they were trying to leave the masons a message. All right. So now we know where the mason's guild is. Because I do want to come back and poke about through there. But is there anything else? What's up here? Me, what? Did you hear that? Hey, I know you. Arabella? You're yeah. Twist him up. Um, it's you, our little idol thief from the Druid's Grove. If that's who it is, yes. <laughs> Sorry, it knocks the wind right out of me. N no, um, that is, that is something. Shouldn't you be with, it's not safe out here. Where are your parents? Shouldn't you be with them? That's who I'm looking for. Okay. Mom and Pops, I mean. Yeah? When Zevlor... When he... When he what, honey? Well, there was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. Okay. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. Of course I will. Of course I will. Um, before though we talk about that, where did you learn that spell? I bet there's a great story behind it. I would personally love to hear it. That druid idol I took? Yeah. It changed me. Changed you? I can do all sorts of stuff now. Oh. Not just the vines. Okay. I think real hard and say some loud words and then it happens. Mostly. Mostly. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll find your parents. How about in the meantime, though, you go hang out at my camp. Halson's there. Um, and, and I've got a, a owl bear cub that you could probably play with. I think you'd really like to play. There's my dogs there, everything. Thanks, miss. I knew you'd help me again. Of course I will. The vines won't last forever. I don't, I don't suppose I can stay with you. Please. Yes, Just absolutely. Just find mom and pops. I won't be any trouble. I swear it. I don't think you'll be any trouble at all. Just go to my camp. You'll be safe there. hundred percent. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send mom and pops there. I'll be waiting, hero lady. You got it. All right. Before we go and find her mom and pops, I want to make sure she made it back to camp all right. So 
maybe maybe a quick little naps in order also it's just been a long day and then we'll go on the hunt for her parents i'm hoping that they're fine but there is sure as heck a lot of stuff roaming around this place and i'd feel better if we napped before we did anything else let's see did arabella arabella did you make it you hanging out with withers this is new withers are you babysitting arabella hey you i made it easy peasy you find mom and pops not yet um i'm still looking but i just wanted to make sure you had made it back to camp all right before i went out and looked some more in the morning well hurry i will they gotta be somewhere and i don't want them worrying don't worry i'll find them then i'll teach you to conjure those vines you the great deal i uh, works for me withers have fun babysitting did anybody else know that withers is babysitting because i did not see that as one of the things that was going to be happening Oh, Astarian? Is everything all right? You know... Yeah. I feel a connection between us. Oh? Like we're... two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. You do, do you? <laughs> What do you mean by naive, Astarian? Uh, just that you have a big heart. Uh-huh. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? Um, well, when we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites, um, destroy the cult. End it's evil forever. Get rid of the worm. Get back to my life. That seems like the right thing to do, don't you think? Like, you can't let an evil cult run around. It's a perfectly good group of people that have been swayed the wrong way. So shouldn't they be going home to people that like them and not being all culty? Because cultists really and truly, like, when they get going, they get chatty. And when they get chatty, they talk about all kinds of weird culty things. And I don't want to hear any more about culty things. God! What? Uh, try to think outside the box just a little. What, what way? Consider the parasites in our skulls. Okay. And think. I am. How many others have the mind flayers infected? Hundreds. Thousands. What? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Astarian, do you know how much effort that is? You know, like, if we controlled thousands of people that's so, like you gotta make sure they eat properly you gotta make sure they're doing culty things that makes them happy but also keeps them in the cult you gotta then have them recruit more culty people so your cult grows they gotta be like uh, no and then what happens when we turn into mind flares because we kept the one in our heads uh, i don't want to turn into a mind flare starian do you know how long it takes me to do my hair in the morning sometimes way too long i've spent way way too long on practicing being a bard and practicing the violin i don't think i can play the violin with tentacles starian i don't think i'm that talented okay i can't turn into a mind flare that's just the thing what if we control the parasites then we can order them not to change us all the power with none of the tentacles. I don't think that's how it works. I'm just saying there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Uh-huh. Sure. You know what? I'll consider it. How about that? I will consider it in the amount of time it takes me to go from here to my bedroll um and and probably not go along with it but you know what i'll give it a good chuckle as i saunter over do it's not often the universe hands you something like this we'd be fools to squander it yeah fools of course this all assumes we live long enough to find this uh moonrise but i'm feeling optimistic that makes one of us that makes one of us 
Hey, um, can I ask you a quick question? Um, why did you ask Raphael about your scars? Like, what is the plan here? It's not a plan yet. Yet, okay. More a feeling. Uh-huh. Just an itch at the back of my mind. But I know I'm missing something. Whatever Casador did to me, it was more than his usual sadism. It had purpose. Once I know what that purpose was, maybe a plan will present itself. But for now, I just need to scratch this itch. Like, seriously, do you have an itch on your back? Because, like, I kept asking you earlier, like, if you need it scratched, just let me know. We're friends. I never did ask, though, speaking of plans and Cazador and cults and all that, are you the only spawn? <laughs> Cazador? Sire, it's seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. Six? He always Other. insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all, but did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. I am sorry, Astarian, for what he put you through. And if there is a way to confront him when we get back home, I promise you I will be one of the first there to help you confront him. Maybe not with a cult in tow, but just know you don't have to do this alone, all right? I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Gail, do you want to talk about anything like how we probably shouldn't get ourselves an evil cult to control? <laughs> 